Okay, we're gonna make that green monster today. So we're gonna start with making his body. Make a square. And then we're gonna make another square. Okay, it's gonna look like that. And another square. Change it to black. Copy this part. And we can make it look something like that for his mouth. And then we're gonna cut out that shape. So do minus front. And then let's make his arm get a pen tool and give a stroke. Maybe like 10. Duplicate this part, turn it, expand, add a square like that. Grab this part and group them together. Use 3D. Circle so matrix left and increase the depth. And then we can do the same thing for his arm. 3D extrude and bevel. Isometric right. And highlight the extrude depth and decrease it. To something like that. Okay. Increase this part a little bit more. Let's see, and then we're going to add the foot. We're going to look, make a square, copy it, This one has to be white. So I'm going to cut out the extra, the overlap part. So copy this part, copy it forward, grab the orange part. We're going to do divide, use the rec selection tool, and select the part we want, copy it. Deselect and then select and delete. Do command F to paste it to front. Okay, and then we're gonna group it 3D extrude and bevel. So many top and decrease the depth like that. Okay, so we got the foot, and we can just copy this part. Okay, so we got the 
foot like that. Move it back. We can just cover this part. Right, we have to add that part. Copy this part. Then we can just do the effect. Change that to isometric lap. Okay, and decrease the light. Like that. Okay. Twenty four. Okay. And then do his horn and just copy this part. Move it down like that. Okay, and change the color. And we need to duplicate. Okay, and then we need to add his toot. All right. Copy this part, change the color. And make it longer. We're gonna have to expand this part first. Alright. And group it. So we can move. Alright, so we can move this one to front like that. 